China's multi-pronged assault on our national and economic security make it the defining threat of our generation. In the aftermath of the ransomware attack on Colonial Pipeline, May of 2021, that shut down gas to the eastern seaboard for several days. Now imagine that on a massive scale. Imagine not one pipeline, but many pipelines disrupted. Uh, telecommunications going down so people can't use their cell phone. People start getting sick from polluted water. Trains get derailed. Air traffic control system, port control systems are malfunctioning. This is truly an everything, everywhere, all at once scenario. A scary warning from FBI Director Christopher Wray and top U.S. cyber official Jen Easterly yesterday during testimony on Capitol Hill with the House Select Committee on U.S.-China Relations. The panel testifying that Chinese hackers are trying to take down critical U.S. infrastructure, including our water supply and our air traffic control system. Let's discuss this with our guest, author, The Coming Collapse of China and author, The Great U.S.-China Tech War, Gordon Chang. Gordon, always a pleasure to have you here on Newsmax. Um, this is terrifying stuff here. I mean, these threats could affect every American across the country. The consequences uh, could be deadly. Uh, do you feel that our government is is well equipped to prevent one of these attacks from happening and and to respond in, in the you know scenario that it does uh, make its way through this country? Well, certainly not, Jen, because we've known of these threats to uh, critical infrastructure for decades. And we've done nothing or very little about it. You know, there have been attempts to talk to China about cyber attacks. Um, but, you know, when President Biden met Xi Jinping in November at San Francisco, Biden didn't raise this issue. And we have seen, you know, Republicans, Democrats, liberals and conservatives have not taken the steps that are necessary to defend our networks. We have left ourselves open. And Gordon, you know, it really seems like the, the Ch that China has been testing the Biden administration in recent years. You look back to the hypersonic missile, to the spy balloon uh, that flew over our country at our military bases. And you look down at our southern border and the 24,000 uh, young military age men, Chinese nationals that have come through the country. That's a 7,000 percent increase from what we saw in terms of Chinese nationals coming into the southern border in 2021. Um, why is this happening? Why are we seeing this rapid increase? And, and your concerns as uh, that border is wide open and a lot of these people are getting in undetected. Yeah. If we go back three years or so ago, the Chinese who were coming across our southern borders were primarily family groups. And that really reflected desperation on the part of the Chinese people. But recently, that mix, the composition of Chinese nationals coming into our country has changed because now we're seeing packs of Chinese males five to 15, traveling without family members, pretending not to speak English, of military age. And U.S. Border Patrol knows that some of them are Chinese military. And the reason why this is extremely grave is because we know that China not only has those remaining police stations in our country, but also that secret Chinese biological weapons lab at Reedley, California, which had at least 20 pathogens, including the one for Ebola, and almost a thousand mice that have been genetically engineered to spread disease. And that could not have been the only facility that China maintained in our country. Gordon, are you concerned about what their intentions are coming into this country? I mean, what are they doing here? Yeah, we have to assume that those males are coming into our country to kill Americans, to blow up power stations, poison reservoirs, start wildfires, whatever, cause panic in our country. So um, there's no question what's going on. And the thing that is just incomprehensible is that the Biden administration is not tracking these individuals, doesn't think that this is a big concern. And it's not just the Chinese. We are seeing very, very suspicious elements coming in from Venezuela, Iran and Syria, in addition to China. All right, Gordon Chang, uh, very alarming, uh, some of these reports, and uh, really hope that we uh, start to keep an eye on this because certainly a lot of concerns here as we watch these people flow into our country uh, undetected. Gordon Chang, thank you for being with us. Thank you, Jen.